recording and、um, project. お願いします。はい、よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。その時、テレナサルスは向こうに兄の姿が見えた。In that moment, the Tyrannosaurus was a n i s i s Yep. Yep.、Uh, well, it's not a n i s i s It's a n i no s u g a t a right? Who's seeing? Jack. Jack is seeing, is seeing a n i s i s、uh, yeah. well, About her... to almost see his face. Yeah. So at that time, Jack sees Annie and she's like on the other side of the dinosaur. So here's Jack. He's hiding behind the tree. There's the dinosaur. And,、mm-hmm. and then Annie's like Mukul. So、mm-hmm. perhaps. So she's too close. And、um, feverish. o n i g a s h i m a s Now, Mashigo, Mo, Oriyo, Toshi, Tayru. So it sounds like, based on the picture, <laughs> I'm climbing down a ladder. <laughs> yep, we got now about to go a ladder, and oriru is to go down. However, we have yo toshiteru, specifically toshiteru. What is that telling us? That's a pretty common、uh, phrase we see a lot. Toshiteru. It kind of tells us、yeah. whether or not an action has been completed. Would you say she has climbed down or that she was attempting to climb down? Uh, it definitely sounds like、uh, she's attempting to climb down. Yep, she is attempting to climb down. And then we also have yo here, which is also adding vagueness to this. Why, why is there yo here, do you think?、Uh, so this story is written from Jack's point of view, but this is something Annie's doing. Does Jack know what Annie's thinking, what she's planning on doing? Uh, is he like observing from far away?、Or? Yes, he is observing. So, yo basically means it seems like. So,、uh, this altogether it says, it seems like Annie is trying to climb down the ladder, is what that says.、Um, and it's because in Japanese, in books, if you do not know 100% for sure about something, a lot of times yo will show up because you cannot think in their head. For all you know, maybe. She was crazy and decided to just sit on the ladder. She just wanted to go right to that position and she wasn't going to climb down. She just kind of wanted to hover there, you know? Or maybe she fell out the window and she did some acrobats and like landed on the ladder by the time Jack looked. We don't、uh, know for sure. Sorry, Jack can I, wasn't there.、Uh, totally. Interject a bit here. Totally.、Uh, I, I think、uh, the, the yo is just、uh, the volitional form of. Oh, what do you do? Yeah, I might be. Then,、uh, that's, cause that's how because that's usually h o w you know, Toshite works, right? There's like a v o l i t i o n It should be yo, then... you're right. Oriru、yeah. would be Orima, right? Yeah. Isn't it Orima? Ori. It's not conjugating for me. Ah, Oriru. Yeah, you're right. It is a do verb. Whoops. I don't know why, but I was thinking it wasn't Oriru. Probably because Furu. Furiru. Furi. Same kanji. <laughs> Different thingy. So if this was like.、Um, I just am fully wrong. But it is true. Normally, when you see yo, it is used for that. But you're correct. This is just volational form. Whoops. What does volational form mean?、Um, it's like when you say, let's go do something, is kind of、um, where the name comes from. So it's just a conjugation. So it's,、um, this conjugation is o to shite iru. It's basically the conjugation. And it's called vocational form because this shows up. When you're doing like just volational. So, like, Oriyo would be like, let's climb down on its own. And this right here uses that same conjugation. 
is uh and that's just the the ta the name that conjugation got uh it doesn't mean they're saying let's climb down that's not being conveyed here but that's just where the name comes from it's kind of like how the name stem form comes from stem root but um it's actually like a different thing which would be um stem forms odi right here that would be the stem you just cut that off from something else that exists. So it's just, just a label. Yeah, otoshiteru okay. is the grammar point. So I apologize. I led you wrong. Whoops. No worries. I, I didn't notice a difference, but it's good that I got that cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> um, project. Onegaishimasu. What is she planning to do? Exactly. And um, Sydney, on you guys to us. Annie ga jimen ni tobi orita. Okay. She, Annie jumped onto the ground or descended, jumped off onto the ground. Yeah. Yep. Um, she could have jumped, but if she also, if she ran down super fast, Toby can also show up. So it's a little bit vague whether or not she for sure jumped from her location. It just, Toby means like fast. A lot of times it's a metaphor, but it's- Yeah, I, I, that's what, uh, I mean, uh, last last week you, uh, you told me that, but then I, I searched up on my dictionary. Apparently, Toby Origiru is like its own thing. Well, we could definitely look at the Japanese down. definition. Um, definitely possible. I think uh, she was on the Nawabashi. So, okay, I, now Abash is like a bridge hanging in the air, right? To go uh, to the tea house. Yeah. So, there is a, a, a certain kind of distance from the ground and the Navabashi. So, I think she came to the end and then she jumped to the ground. Definitely. I think that is what it means. Would make sense. Um, and Sydney. お願いします。プテラのどんのところへ走り寄って話しかけている腕広げてはばたきをしてみせている Okay. Uh, a lot of vocabulary, I don't know. So the Putteradon is not the T-Rex, remember? Which dinosaur is that? That's the bird. <laughs> yep. So the one that's a lot one. like a bird. So Annie, she goes to the Putteradon no Tokoro. What does that mean? Uh, the place of the of where uh, the Pteranodon ter is. Yep. So in that direction, she hashte, especially hash, hash, hashiri What does that mean? Hashiru is run. Hashiru, yep. hashiri yoru is uh, something. Well, yoru like means to get close to. So to run up to something is ah, yeah, okay. hashiri yoru. And then she hanash kaketeru. So this is Annie, right? She's gonna hanash kaketeru to the putteradon, right? So started talking to the... Yeah. And then the putteradon, it's ude, it hirogete, and hana bataki o shite miseteiru. Oh, okay. So it raised its... Wait, ude here is its wings, right? The, um, basically, it the means arms. arms, but its arms has the wings connected to it. Okay, so it raises, oh, you know, it expanded its arms yeah. and started to uh, show her that it was flapping its wings. Yeah. Um, misete, oh, wait. Uh, I think in this context, it's more like it's, uh, it, it's, it's causative form. I think. 
so, someone can definitely correct me. I've been making lots of mistakes this day. Um, I believe this is causative form, being that um, in a way our subject theoretically is still Annie, but we wouldn't do it that way in English necessarily. But Annie makes the dinosaur open its hands up and start flapping is basically what it's doing over here. So theoretically, it's it's like the difference. It's just the uh, Annie's making it do it by Wait, but asking it. But the root verb is miru, right? Yes, it is miru. So, so how so I don't think it's causative because in that case it would be making the pterodon see. Um wouldn't it? So when miru like, goes with a verb, it never means to make someone see. Uh it kind of can mean oh, like try. to try. Oh, okay, um okay. But it so, is true that so causative she form made, doesn't look like that. She made the the pterodon uh, try to flap his wings. Yeah, that would be like my guess, but I could definitely um, be wrong. And it sounds like I am. Um, <laughs> no, I think that in this context, uh, Annie is trying to show the pterodon you oh, fly your wings and that then she's pointing Uday to the is here. yeah yeah Uday Uday is and his arms. And that does make a lot more sense ah Naruhodo. Yeah. that makes sense so the showing off her arms Chris I mean, Japanese yeah, dropping off yeah. subjects so I guess it makes sense since the first one the subject was Annie I was trying to make it work differently but always go simpler that makes a lot more sense so hard. Oh, okay. um, feverish. Onigaisimasu. Uh, Sorekara. Uh, jaku no bowl wo. Uh, yubi sashi. Uh, sora wo to te. Uh, tsuri ha usu <laughs> wo yubi wo, or yubi sashi ta. So uh, sort of kind of means like after that. So I guess after that, uh, uh, Jack did something. Mm. Like <laughs> so hold, or, uh, hold doesn't mean, do you know what hold means? Does it mean like cheek? It can mean cheek. That'd be like with an O there, like hole, I uh, think. Right? Hope, hope it. Oh, yeah. So this actually means direction. <laughs> so our subject is still Annie. This whole paragraph, we're talking about Annie. So Annie oh. runs up to the putteradon. She swings her arms out wide and goes, slap, 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 slap. And then she ubisasses. You know what ubisasa means? to Jack. Direction. Yes. <laughs> and then her arm, soro to te, trihaso So what did, what did she do? Uh, it like <laughs> it, I think like you know told it feels like it's like to advance maybe or um kind of yeah okay well so like... all she's doing is that she's pointing her hand however she first pointed at Jack and now she's pointing at the treehouse how did she get her hand to change from the two different subjects to be pointing at uh, I feel like she like rolled it around or like you know spun it around. <laughs> she so she it says sora o tote. So it's it's insinuating, I think, that she put her arm upward in a upward motion. So she points at Jack and then swinging it over in the sky, kind of, and she points at the um treehouse rather than horizontally. Kind of insinuating okay. fly up dinosaur. So, so fly, fly, fly kind of insinuating, you know? So, hmm. is she saying that the dinosaur should fly from Jack to the treehouse? Yes. Oh. Or maybe in reverse. And then Jack goes, Nani got didn't die too. What the heck is she doing? Um, and Sydney, when you guys see 
ジャックは思わ,る思わず立ち上がった。ジャック、without thinking, stood up. Perfect. And、um, I'm going to do feverish again. Okay.、Uh, Ami, Abunai Kara,、uh, Nakani, uh, uh, is it, I think, I think it's like h a i t e r o right? Yep, h a i t e r o <laughs> so, this Naka, yeah, I don't know what, what does Naka normally mean? Typically, it's like center or middle. Yeah, so in this case, you can make, translate it as inside.、Mm-hmm. That was like hurry inside, maybe. <laughs> yep, that's exactly. So, she goes, Go inside, as in inside the treehouse. Why should she go inside the treehouse? Ah, I wish I knew what Abunai meant. <laughs> Abunai means dangerous. Okay, it's dangerous there or something. <laughs> yep. Annie, it's dangerous. Go back inside. And、um, project. Then, of course,、uh, there was a loud noise which echoed, which was enough for Jack to close his ears.、Uh, the t y r a n o s a u r u s is looking at him right now. Yep. Ah, because、stop. I got confused. Yeah. In, I have a doubt in Mimi o t s u n s a g u y o n a So, yeah, it's the, like you're right, the break your ears, but his ears didn't actually break, right? He, he doesn't have blood gushing out of his ears. That's that y o l that I was talking about before. Here it is, actual existence. <laughs> I, I just guessed that from the Osoroshi Koega Hibita.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the dreadful well, voice was, echoed as、sure. if it burst his eardrums, basically, is how、mm-hmm. we'd say it in English. Um, feverish, one of you guys, Tama. Hi, uh, Jakuwa, uh, Atama wo takaete, uh, Jimen ni, uh, Jagami konda. So, Jack's like he, uh, did something with his head, kakaete.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, and then G Men, is that like another, or like another face? <laughs> That's a good guess. So G right here kind of means earth. So what would you think an earth face would be? Oh,、um, probably like land or ground. Yep, it is the ground. So Jack, he kind of clutches his head and then he like crouches down on the ground. Kind of like this picture. Okay, he doesn't seem very happy, that's for sure. Yeah. Tiranosaurus <laughs> was a Jihiki or Tate de Yate Kita. Did he be a subterranean, what? Subterranean、uh, rumbling. So I would just say an earthquake, maybe, even though it doesn't, it doesn't mean earthquake,、okay. but we wouldn't use、oh, that big、um, word in English. G and、uh, Hibiku together, okay. Yeah. The earth echoes. Well, yeah. And, For, for American audiences, we probably would say like an earthquake occurred or something because we're, we're not scientific. Because, <laughs> yes,、yeah. Japan, you are correct. This is not an earthquake. So smart. <laughs> But I would not know what that <laughs> word meant without the context. <laughs> so, yeah.、Uh, the... <laughs> what is yatekite? What, 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 yeah.、Uh, to do? Or, or the, 
like do and come. I don't know how to explain. I, I don't know what tatete uh, is though. Like what what so, kanji is that using? It? This this is probably tatsu, weirdly enough, but tatete is kind of um it, it can be used when you make a noise. So this is basically saying the dinosaur makes a loud rumbling noise with the earth by its humongous feet step stomping going <laughs> you know that's what that's what that is and it comes toward jack so earth shaking oh. resounds re basically earth shaking resounds from the t-rex coming toward jack okay so yeah tatete is just a weird meaning for tatu but yeah, it's the same kanji as the okay, so, <clears throat> so uh the Tyrannosaurus caused uh uh a, like a rumbling that uh like uh approached him or started to approach him. Yeah, it, it approaches Jack. Hi. And um, feverish, on guys Yes, uh, hashi, hashi ten, hashi teni, uh, yetemo, uh, oitsu kade. Nice. So we're talking about um, Jack right here. Hashite nigetemo. You you know hashiru. What does that mean? Yeah, to run. Uh, yep. Then we have nigeru. What does that mean? Hey. It's pretty similar to running in this context. He's not running toward the dinosaur. He's running. <laughs> running away. <laughs> yes. Nigete means to run away. Then we have temo right here. Do you remember what temo means? Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure. <laughs> so temo is used when you want to say, like, even if you do an action. <laughs> So even if Jack ran away, the T Rex oh. will oi it. What do It'll you think catch that up means? To him. Exactly. The <laughs> T Rex will catch up. That's how fast it is. And projecta on Uh Tani Modoreba. Anatosaurus no Murega is saying a valeda so come Uh if we return to the valley. The flock of Anatosaurus might start making a ruckus. Hi. Ah, Dostarinda. What would be, what should I do? And, um, Sydney, Onigashima. Uh, sorry, can I, uh, uh just yep. uh, read that previous sentence again? Ah, <laughs> uh, about it uh, uh, so so she she translated the last half as making a ruckus but um about it that means like to be like violent kind of so it'll be it says all become violent that i just was like oh sorry. i wasn't it sure what i bought it me remember okay. a lot of scenes from jurassic park because even the t-rex was running and like i don't know if you guys have seen jurassic park most people have i haven't i've definitely seen lots of trailers though so i i know what happened <laughs> so um make a ruckus i think works for like metaphorically you know if it, if they're all become violent they're going to make a ruckus so it probably makes more sense to like translate it violently. Yeah, like a stampede. Just because that's what, because why would Jack care if they make loud noises? <laughs> <laughs> so, so if that was what confused you. Okay. And come up to the nice, perhaps, because Jack doesn't know. Yeah. So, no toki, Jack no atama no ue wo oki na ke ga. Ga yoko gita. So this doesn't say kega. It's like, wait, oh, ke, kege, kage. Kage, hi, kage. 
Wow, I I I swapped the two together in my head. Yeah. <laughs> uh um so for sono toki, that's pretty easy. What does that mean? Sono toki. At that time. Yep. Then we have Jack and the in that moment, Jack Jack's head. Uh Ue. above Jack's head. We got uh, a was o, a large shadow. Yep. Yoko Gitad. Uh to cross. Yep. It crossed. So a large shadow crossed well, above Jack's head. Oh. <laughs> I see. Yep. <laughs> Not as complicated as think. Basically, same as English. Large shadow cross. Okay. Uh, and um feverish. Yes, uh, Jack, Jacku wa soda wo aoida uh, puketa no do mm, da. Uh, so this is puketa. Um, the put, putera, putera no do oh. is that one dinosaur, but um, this aoida <laughs> is not um, ao. It's not Aoida like um this. It's, it's not ah Aoi. It's not it is um <laughs> it's a uh, Aogu. This verb. Ow. Yeah, for a second there, I thought Jack made the sky blue. <laughs> it's like man, the sky is blue. I like I thought it said that too for some. It's like ah, so do It's like so this man, but yeah, it's a uh, Aogu. <laughs> I had to like double check. I was like, no, what is that? Uh, this context, man. Uh, so do you know what algu means? I'm not too sure. It has to do with the sky. So maybe it's it flying does. and floating. That's a good guess. But it's actually Jack is the one doing the action. And it means to look up at. So Jack looks up at the sky. And what does he see? Oh, he sees a pterodon. <laughs> yep, a pterodon. Nice. And I am going to, wow, one sentence. Um, we actually do have time for that before we switch off. Um, project, onigashimasu. came to Jack's aid. Yeah. So it doesn't actually have the word aid in there, but exactly. <laughs> Came right but up. If to... we had to translate this book in English, then that wouldn't that the sentence be? I mean, it would make it would it would make sense in a like um make it more fun to read. Definitely, that's 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 how translation works. You got that practice. So um, I'm going to stop the share, share the next link, and we'll be starting this chapter right then. So keep an eye out for that. Oops.